Dyson, how are you going? Mate, good to see you. Good to see Sunny. you. Great game on the weekend, mate. Thanks, mate. We oh, got mate. there, mate. Ruffy, good to see you too, mate. Thanks, mate. My first year would have been 2001. Probably 50, 50 games all up, and then went on to TAT Cup from there. Yeah, I started in uh, under 12s, bottom age under 12s, so played two years there. Uh, then under 13s, and then moved up straight to under 16s after that. So and then into the seniors. Oh, junior was, was always, uh, we'd get here and there'd be a ute, two utes with a bit of rope on the, on the back along the ground that'd knock off all the dew around here most, most mornings. Probably since Dad was playing senior footy, uh, so since I was four or five, we've been around these club rooms and um, you know, if only the walls could speak, you'd have a thousand stories. Uh, very similar, very special days uh, at Lane Gath. I always remember you know, rocking up to training wearing Dad's old Lane Gath Guernseys with the collars and even a bloody lace-up one in there one time. So, um, no, some very special memories of the place. Um, obviously, uh, playing with some uh, a lot of friends from around Lane Gath and um, still very close with those guys now. So. Because it was 9.30 in the morning when we first got here before the the bounce of the force, it was more trying to keep warm because these brick walls can get pretty cold in June and July, so uh, for us it was trying to keep warm, but for these boys they always seem to have pot shots at the shower door over there. You know, every training, every training session we'd be in here, um, uh, and every, you know, before every game in the warm-ups, no matter where you're standing, you'd be having pot shots for the, uh, the shower door, so I was sinking them flat out. <laughs> Let's go. That's one. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. Cut me in a row, bro. See, I never did it. I was out uh, there kicking goals. It's because you're kicking a basketball, mate. They need the good pill. Yeah, I saw Ruffy play a couple of times. I was always heavily involved in basketball along with him, so I always uh, looked up to Ruffy, probably in a basketball sense more so, but. Um, you know, and then coming across playing footy and Ruffy was then playing uh, state footy with under 15s and through to the 16s and whatnot. and I guess always, yeah, admired what he was doing and, and looked up to him. Uh, we were very successful, had the uh, old man was my coach um, from under 12s through to 13s and I think we won about three flags in a row so, um, you know, we had a great, great group of blokes coming through at uh, my age level and you know, we're all very close and uh, a lot of those guys that we played with in under 12s and 13s are still in the, the seniors today so yeah it's a good crop of uh, boys that come through. And yeah, no, we had quite, yeah, quite a strong side, um, he's Kenny's son Lloyd uh, played in the side as well and he was a, a pretty tough knacker at the ball and I remember Kenny and Lloyd always having a couple of tips on the, on the boundary lines, that's pretty funny. He was just an absolute standout in all levels, he was just a ball magnet. You would just get, um, even though those games would only go for, you know, 15 minute quarters, he'd still get 50 possessions every game, every week he played. In fact, they used to restrict him from going in the forward line for, you know, half a game, just so he wouldn't, you know, just so everyone else would get a bit of a go. And you, Ruffy, I know, well, we, we struggled, didn't we? <laughs> Honestly, we really struggled. Mate, there was, I reckon Dice said he won three flags in a row. I reckon we were pretty close for three. <laughs> yeah. But I would, you wouldn't say that that was the worst thing ever because the boys are still mates to this day. And, you know, we were lucky enough that a few of us got to play in a senior grand final in 2003. We didn't win it. Uh, he ran a tight ship. He, wanted, he was trying to get the best out of us, which is what most uh, junior coaches do. But he didn't have much cattle to work with. With, with my group. Your group was probably a bit easier, but um, as we said on the field before, we didn't have really uh, many wins, and when we did, they were like winning the flag, so that was good. Did you ever think that you'd end up playing, or playing AFL for a start, yeah. then 200 senior games, three premierships, yeah, getting on, eh? Coleman medalists? <laughs> Surely you wouldn't have thought um, that was going to happen. No, nah, not at all. I mean, and, and both of us came back last night, but it only feels like, um, you know, I've played at senior footy for 11 years now, but it doesn't feel like I've been gone for that long. You could just tell that he, he had everything. He could mark, he could kick, run off the footy. He just knew where to run. He was just an all-round player, even at that young age. And even though he was fairly inexperienced, you could always tell he was going to play at AFL. Not just me, everyone thought it. Two and two minutes for the big man. I wasn't as tall and as solid as what I was. I am now. I was a uh, big gangly rang. Yeah, I was. I was skinny with a big mop of red hair. So, um, yeah, I, th I think we were, we were reasonably young playing in the 16s. I mean, they didn't really have the 13s or 14s like Dice, but so we were playing 16s from when we were 13, I reckon. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah.
to one of the lads, that's for sure. He's uh, always at the back of the group, uh, mostly talking about everything but football, and not concentrating that much. Uh, maybe not even been that good a trainer, but he could just play. So we used to play you, uh, your half-back flanker, so you'd be our... Uh, our target the kick, shoot, kick to from the kick outs. Tried it, yeah, because it was about, had, a, had a decent jump on me as well, so yeah. trying to get you above mark the footy. Where did you used to play mostly? You mostly oh, non baller Yeah, well, Dad, Dad was coaching, so I'd try and tell him <laughs> where I was playing, so I'd move myself anywhere. But um, yeah, mostly on ball, played there for the you know, majority of the junior days and um, oh, scooting up forward every now and then to try and snag a few. So. Nurchin, great tackle on him, hopping, Hempel, hooking back. It's a goal. He's a champion, Apple. You've got your own street just over yeah, the road there, yeah. right there. Tell us about that. Well, obviously being good sport, uh, good at sport as a junior, they decided to name this whole precinct after myself. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball court said, no, yeah, no. He's getting a statue no, for um, I think it was after great granddad back in, uh, back in the day. So you wouldn't actually know that it was Rough Edge Street because there's apparently a couple of signs missing. Um, I wonder where they'd be. Someone said they've got pinched or something like that. So. <laughs> and they're all in your bedroom, mate. <laughs> no, you I know my little brother's got one. So his first AFL game against Essendon. Played against Dustin Fletcher. Still numbers with the Hawks. Rough hit. Goal. He's at it. Look at the youngster celebrate. The Hawks are back in it. Became a Hawthorne member for a year. Just so we could go and watch a few games with my son, which is Jared's close friend. And uh, yeah, I've followed him ever since, and it's been a great uh, interest, not only for me, but all the Langatha people, whether they follow football or not.